research knows. In terms of like shedding toxins and, and whatnot, I unfortunately like we don't have hard data to confirm any of that, but it is true that you weren't taking in a lot of processed foods. You weren't taking in a lot of sugars. Right. Well, you were having not natural processed sugars, sugar, right. but processed sugars. So I think that for those things, I think what good comes out of it is that you increase your fruits and vegetables. And any way that you can do that, I think is an awesome way, but you also have to eat some other things so that you don't put your body in total calorie starvation mode. It's a it's just it's an interesting topic because I know that it's it's popular. It's very popular and it's popular for a number of reasons. Let's be truthful because it does work. You're not eating, you're losing weight. So <laughs> yeah. that's the that's where people are like, oh I'm cleansing, I'm cleansing. No, yeah. you're just trying to be a size two. And you could. Yeah. But you also wonder, oh, they do make it sound so good, like, oh, but I, it's just vegetables. Right. That, you know, so it can't be but so bad for me. But in a way, what you're saying is what it does to your body it can have is. adverse effects. Right, and vegetables are so good for you. And they have vitamins and phytochemicals that are cancer preventing. And more and more research are, are finding that, and that's so exciting. However, you also need fat in your body. You also need protein in your body. And you need those things because everything works synergistically within the body to work. So unless you're having some fat, unless you're having some protein, you can't really kind of complete what you want to within the body. How long then could you uh, go with it? Because true, I wasn't getting any animal protein. I mean, yeah, right. right, I just wasn't. So, uh, and on the on the fast, you could on the raw food portion, you could soak nuts and then eat nuts. But like, who wants to eat a soaked nut? Like, this why is would food. you soak nuts? Be I like that I'm learning about because this. <laughs> because I guess the rehydration of them or the hydration of them made it easier for your body to process because what it is saying is like you do stop um, uh, what do you call it digesting mm -hmm. in in that way like when you're eating solid foods or processed or cooked foods you're you're excreting more enzymes I guess mm -hmm. to break down food mm -hmm. so to make the nuts easier for your body to, to break down mm -hmm. you would soak them I never did because I just thought it was gross right I, was I like, don't want to eat a wet nut <laughs> that's like that's my choice thanks no I'm out wow. so yeah that's so I wasn't getting okay. any protein how long can the body go without Ooh. like a protein that's such a good question um I don't really know that's a really good question I mean you can sustain, people sustain crazy diets and crazy lifestyles for a very long time. Because you think that um, vegetarians are getting a source of protein. Oh, yes, through absolutely. whatever, you know, mm -hmm. bean combinations or tofu oh, or whatever. Oh, yeah, and bread. I mean, protein is in everything. Don't get me wrong. Protein is in vegetables, actually, just not a lot of protein. Right, right. Um, but, no, I mean, you can get plenty of protein by just eating pastas and breads and nuts and peanut butters, etc. I got protein. <laughs> um, but... If you're just eating, if you're just juicing, gosh, right. you have to look into that. Because so, I've just um, never before you die or what? <laughs> before, I don't know before like something happens. Like what before? I guess because you, before you lose you lose muscle mass because you didn't have protein or yeah, and you can move, but you can lose muscle mass just by drastically cutting down on your calories and exercising a lot, um, <laughs> and and losing weight very quickly. You can cut down on muscle mass as well. Um, so, you know, when people say, I lost seven pounds this week, it's really water, and then you're starting to kind of cut down the muscle mass. You're really not getting into fat storage yet. How long does it take to get into fat storage? What's that? How long does it take to get into fat storage? I mean, it's not really like time, you know? <laughs> that's why we always say, you know, it's safe to lose like one to two pounds per week, if that's what you're looking for. Because it's a balanced sort of way. Right, off. and it's very slow, and you can slowly trick the body into always thinking that it's in homeostasis, that it's always in balance. Because oh, the body okay. wants to fight, so it wants to fight where it is. So if you drastically, that's why if you drastically start to cut down on calories, your body has hormones, and these two hormones tell you when you're hungry, and these, another hormone tells you when you're full. And so the hormone that tells you when you're hungry is always saying, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, you need to eat more, because why are you cutting down on your calories right. and losing weight? So that's why it's very hard. And also it's very hard after you've lost the weight to maintain it, because the body wants you to go back where it is. It's right. not a lack of willpower. People always think, you know, I lack this willpower. Yes, some of the times, yeah, you kind of splurge a little after right, you lost weight. Right, that's different. It's a chemical. But or there's definitely a yeah, It's a hormonal. There's a, hormonal. a hormonal.
reaction going on in your body. So there is really true stuff that happens with that. It's hard. The body's very smart. It's very hard to trick it. <laughs> ah! Yeah.